Good evening, everyone. Somebody didn't catch the first time. Where's that flight? Okay, we'll skip that. First thing first. What is it? What is the first thing for everyone is different? And today I'm going to be discussing time. And what's important? What's important and time. Two years ago, about this time, a friend of ours passed away. His name was Lloyd Vincent. He was my age. Some of us went to say goodbye to our friend. And what we didn't realize that we witnessed a time management seminar. Because only at that moment people realize what time really means. When there is no more time left to accomplish the first thing. That is the best way to describe a time management seminar. And when you do that, when you know that time is not forever, and you only have a limited time to accomplish what's important in life, you become sharp about everything that you do. You think twice, should I invest my time and energy in this particular project or should I do something else? You become person that wants to do something with his life, wants to have a meaning to his life. A portion of this seminar is that time that you're going to invest in first thing. To different people, first thing is different thing. What we are doing today, what I'm doing here is different from what you are doing here. We are the different levels of our life. On the third page of your pamphlets, you will find a quadrant, a tie quadrant. Something we shouldn't be doing anyway. 
Just take a look at these quadrants and take about a few seconds. If you have a pen, write down some things in that in the boxes. For example, urgent and important. What would you put in? Mark. Urgent and important. You just bought a house. What would you put in?
that's your block, that's stick. And what you do with your life is what your life is going to be about. So, going back to urgent and important, let's move on to the next one. How about urgent and not important? Example, urgent and it's not important. A jacuzzi in the backyard. You don't have the room for that. <laughs> <laughs> you got the books, you don't have parts there. <laughs> you got the books, you don't have Let's assume you bought one. Let's assume you have one. And it's October 15, and you need to close the jacuzzi because the winter is coming. How urgent is it? Okay, let's go to December. How urgent is it? Now it's urgent. Okay. But it's not important. It's not important. And then, you're right. It's also important. So, we move that. Hold on. If that is the case, it's December now. Then we better move this up to quadrant number one. But what if we would think about it in time? And on October 16, right after the seminar, we would go and close that jacuzzi. It would be right in the quadrant two. Because it's not urgent anymore, but it's very important, and you do it in time. So play with this a little bit. Now, not urgent and not important. Anyway, not urgent, not important. Busy work. Check it constantly, check it, texting with each other. You know, Perfect. Texting?
I have a very heavy item in my backyard. And I need you to move this right now. Help me to move this right now. But I was on my way with my family to a picnic. No, no, I understand, but they can wait. Because it is so important and it is so urgent that you help me. So it is important and it is urgent. To him. How important is it to you? Your family, your future, your life. He said, to tell you the truth, it's not important to me. It be no, you can't hurt now. You're not
everybody else. Okay? Saturday morning. What's important to some people? <laughs> Saturday morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. Very important. Very important, right? And urgent. Very urgent and, and, and important. Guess what? Some of us this Saturday going for an hour and a half drive to Canada. To play golf. 36 rounds. Very important. And urgent. And urgent. Very important. My wife's song? Okay. What I'm telling you, what I'm telling you, guys, yes, what I'm telling you is sometimes we got our priorities screwed up. Honestly, we think it's important. And we move to quadrant three. And we sit in quadrant four when the game is on. An entire Sunday just goes by. And then the second game. And then there's a Monday night. And guess what? There's a Thursday night game now. Four Sunday days a week. Night, and a college game. And it's Saturday. Night. What are you kidding me? That's important. I got an 83 inch TV to prove it. <laughs> okay? That's how important it's my priority. Thank you, Andre, for giving me the time to use it in quadrant four. Complete useless time. But I promise you, I'm just saying that that TV hardly goes on. Now, if, oh, sorry, if we understand this sentence, to live, to love, to learn, to leave a legacy, and we can read it and absorb it, Give it five seconds of your time. Think about it. To live. It's what we do every day. It's why we come to work. We need food and we need roof over our heads. That's simple need of human just to live. To love. It's the next level. Now you have your food and now you have your job. To love is the relationships that you have with other people. When you work, you want to build a relationship because possibly your job depends on it. You're not a law. It's a crew. It's a service department. It's office. You constantly have to relate to other people. That's what love is all about. To love. To learn. The black next level. Guess what? Some people don't go higher than live and love. True. They stay there. They got their food. They got their family. We good. Don't need anything else. I got my salary. Perfect. I can cruise along all my life. But some people say, no, no, no. I want to go a little further than that. And I want to learn something. And this is why you are here. <coughs> Because you want to get to the next level. And now we learn. And what do we do with what we learn? Sooner or later, every one of you will get to a point where you say, I got enough of what I have. I would like to give it to someone else. I learned a few things. I have experience. And I would like to give it to the next person. Who wants it? You come into the seminar? No, why? Uh huh. How important is it? Which quadrant is it? What are you talking about? <laughs> you better come to the seminar so you understand. Yes, sir. Now, to live, to love, to learn, to leave a legacy. This is what it's all about. It's the meaning of life. Every one of us have this human need until that time comes. And at that point, when people say about you, you are gone, and now, what do they say about you after you're gone? And here lies the man.
to live to love. Spent his life learning. And we're going to remember him. Boy. Now, every one of us have goals in life and we want to achieve them. And if you have a strong need or goal, you concentrate to achieve and you concentrate to learn. And as an example, I'll give you an example of a person here. Today is October 16. October 16, seven years ago, a young man ran into my office. Truly, he ran into the office. I said, why are you running? Oh, I have an appointment, I have an appointment. I didn't want to be late. What's so important about this appointment? No, you don't understand. I live in Queens, and there's a trailer there. I, I saw a trailer with your name on it. And I was 16 years old, and I went into the trailer, and I said to myself, one day, I want to work for this company. And I called. And somebody here says, come on down. 